what's up YouTube? It's Scotty with Evil Castrigo. We're back here at Indian Motorcycle of Clarksville and we are riding another Indian Motorcycle. So you all know how much I love the uh, Indian Springfield Dark Horse from last year. It's probably my favorite bike of 2022. I think this one might take it this year. Let's get into the video. Let's check out what we're riding. So we are riding the 2023 Indian Sport Chief. This is all new for this year. This just launched maybe two weeks ago. Uh, and they just got it in and this one's already purchased but i am actually riding this for the new customer to get it out of state inspected uh, but really excited to get on the road let's check this thing out so what sets the sport chief apart from its chief counterpart or chief bobber counterpart is the fox piggyback shocks that we're looking at here it's got this really cool solo seat that looks more comfortable we'll see once we get it out on the road it's gonna come standard with the 116 cubic inch thunderstroke motor. This really cool quarter fairing. I really like the way that looks. The T-bars up here. And we'll check out the screen. This thing has navigation, ride modes, you name it. Inverted forks, dual Brembo brakes in the front, LED light. And there it is right there. 116 cubic inch motor putting out gobs of torque and it is beautiful so this bike's gonna run i believe right under 20 grand 19.999 for the way this one sits in the ruby smoke color uh if i'm wrong i'll put that in the video <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's what it runs though so let's get out on the road and uh i'll continue blabbering on about it thanks for watching let's go all right we are off on the 2023 Indian Motorcycle Sport Chief in Ruby Smoke. The way this bike sits in this colorway is going to run you $19,499. Starting price on the uh, Indian Sport Chief is going to be $18,999 for the black base model. Uh, and uh, then you are going to step up into the Icon series at nineteen nine ninety nine. Um, all three variants are going to come with the one sixteen. This bike does not come with a one eleven, so they all are going to have the big engine, which is a huge plus for me, I think. Uh, and the other thing that they all are going to come with is they all are going to come with the navigation system. So this is basically a premium model. Even the base is considered a premium model when we're talking about the uh it the chief lineup sport chief in general um we've kind of talked about some of the features already but let's run through them again it's got inverted forks dual brembo brakes up front comes with the quarter fairing it's also going to come with the uh riser for the handlebars and kind of a flat almost a motocross style handlebar you could probably put a really sweet looking pair of pro tapers or rinthals on this thing if you're inclined i would do that but uh, <laughs> uh that looks not for everybody but me with my motocross background i think that's probably the move but i uh i, I really like this bike already i was stoked when they launched it um known about it for a little bit uh anticipating the launch you know um uh, but really i mean it's just a great looking bike. I love the Chief in general already. Um, so for them to come out with a more stylized version of it, I like this fork. I wish we uh, had a longer ride on it today so I could really kind of push it in the corners a little bit and just feel how sporty it really is. Unfortunately, this one is already sold. So this one uh, is gonna be just a commute to downtown Louisville to get it inspected by the sheriff for this motorcycle's new owner who I'm sure is gonna be stoked to pick this thing up today. You are able to order the uh, Sport Chief though. Uh, so if you're interested, give JB a call at Indian Motorcycle Clarksville. She can set that up with you. You can order the color you want, everything pretty much. Uh, and it's a pretty quick turnaround on the order. Uh, we, we've really seen things speed up, you know, post in the post COVID era, things are getting better. Uh, bikes are more readily available and she will have a few more coming in stock we just don't know what colors they're going to be yet and uh, an exact date on those 
So stay up to date with the social media page for that information. But just talking about this motor in general, I mean, the things that I like about the Chief, maybe over the Scout, um, you know, if you're going to totally kit out a Scout, it's going to be close, still less, still a lower price point than this motorcycle, but you're going to start getting up there uh, within a few grand of each other. And this bike is going to come with the big engine. I mean, this is the same engine that they put in their big 900 pound uh, touring bikes, you know, 900 plus pound touring bikes. It's the same engine in this little 690 pound chassis, wet. Uh, I think it's like 694 wet. So, gobs of torque, all the power you need, and my favorite thing, cruise control. Um, I don't think you can beat a motorcycle with cruise control anymore. I mean, for the longest time, I thought it was a stupid idea, but man. Once you get on a ride over about 40 minutes, that cruise control really is nice. And um, yeah, I have to say so far, I'm really liking this bike. I like the way the handlebars feel. I know that the T-bar look is uh, a look that not everybody is down with, but I actually really like it. I mean, I guess it's probably, you know, my motocross roots, but I just think it looks cool and different. Um, and it does feel a little sporty, you know. I mean, it's it's still a cruiser. It's not. This is not a sport bike, but it feels really good, uh, and it's and it's comfortable. I think the one thing I would probably change is I probably would go with a forward control. This bike comes stock spec with a, a mid control, which is cool, uh, and I like it being a shorter legged fella. You know, I'm at a 29, 30 inch inseam, depending on what day it is. Um, so I don't feel cramped on it, but I could see where like on a longer ride, you might want to get some forwards. But there's no lack of engine on this thing. You, uh, you will not be want for power whenever you need it. There it is. I mean, we're barely revving this thing. I mean, it's, it's you know, it, it, it's two grand going 70 miles an hour. <laughs> so uh, just, uh, you know, it's a really great engine. And like I said previously, uh, um, I just, you know, you know, guys, I loved the, the Springfield Dark Horse last year. Um, I still really like the Springfield Dark Horse. It is a bigger motorcycle. Um, and I like the way that feels. You're a little more stretched out on it. And maybe for passenger riding, it would be a little better in the grand scheme of things. But you could totally make this bike comfortable for a passenger one thing I, that I do love about this sport chief in general and wow that acceleration is, is amazing that's another thing I love uh, is the Fox piggyback shocks in the rear I think that's like the biggest upgrade you can do to an American v-twin is to get like something with a little more adjustment a little more resistance this dude is going down a one way holy smokes holy smokes dude Oh, it's a chick. Oh, boy. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Insert rude joke about hair color there. I won't do that. That was just a coincidence. <laughs> Back to the ride. Uh, just, uh, just, just an excellent motorcycle. Um, you know, they all are. I love Indians, and uh, I love uh, specifically. I love this 116. And this bike just zips, man. And I just think the styling is uh, cool. You know, I mean, it's yes. Is it maybe a, a tad derivative? Sure, but it's what the people want. And uh, I have to say, I think Indian has kind of made it their own. Um, you know, they certainly have with the uh, the engine and um, all of the things that you get with this motorcycle versus some of the uh, some of its competition. I mean, to have this navigation right here in the center and uh, this awesome digital readout ride modes, you can connect your phone to it. Um, you know, you can control all of that stuff right here from the the center. Uh, console, I guess, if you will. Really great, really great stuff. Whew, it's about uh, 40 something degrees here, and uh, I am fogging up, man.
Yeah, I really like this bike. Another thing I'm noticing uh, is the seat. Um, really comfortable. I kind of like, it's got like this uh, more upswept rear back area. Um, kind of helps cushion your... Um, cushions your tailbone a little bit better, I think. I don't... Uh, I, I think he's in the wrong lane. People are really messing up a lot here today. That is that is not the correct way to go, man. This is a two-way. <laughs> you need to be over here. Wow. The, uh, the laws today are being broken in downtown Louisville. This is crazy. <laughs> and they wonder why motorcyclists don't feel safe on the road with these big, stupid cars. <laughs> uh, it's not the cars that are stupid. It's, um, well... A little rude to uh, call somebody stupid, I guess. Uh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Um, driving sense impaired? How would you phrase it? A lot of people messing up today. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, loving the Chief. We're going to get it inspected for its new owner here. But I have to say, I, I think this 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 tops the Navi is bike of the year so far. <laughs> The Navi has been dethroned. It is now the Sport Chiefs throne to bear, crown to bear, rather. Ah, all right. Well, this, that's just my quick uh, initial thoughts of this thing. It's a beautiful motorcycle. Um, I'm sure that this bike's new owner is going to be very happy. I'm going to get it inspected. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, Really appreciate all the love everybody's given to the channel. I really appreciate a like and a subscribe. And uh, I'll check you later. Peace.